Hi everybody, it's Aixenis. Today we're going to review the Yonex Politor Rev. Let's go. I'm honestly really excited about this string because um, I've seen two kind of review about this string. I've seen review where, um, you know, the person was talking about one of the best string that I ever uh, tried, if not the best. And I've seen review where it was kind of a mixed, you know, mixed emotion. Yes, it's a fine string, but it's not the best. So I will see because like, um, I don't like, for example, Polytor Pro, but I really like Polytor Strike. So yeah, let's see if this Yenex string is uh, good or not. So the Yenex Polytor Rev is a shaped polyester that should offer a lot of spin and that is all also firm. So we'll see if we're gonna have harm issues and we'll see if we're gonna have a lot of spin. But for that part, you know, I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna read what is written on the package so that you can understand a bit more what Yonex tried to do with this string. For baseline with medium to fast swing speed, looking for shape string that grabs the ball for the, the ultimate spin experience. So that's kind of my thing, you know? So, you know, we'll see. Uh, I love that they talked about the swing speed. So it's gonna be really interesting for the review. Uh, so I'm gonna string my vocal C10 Evo with this Yonex Polito Rev 16L at 50 pounds and let's go on the court. On the court with the Yonex Polytour Rev, the first thing that I felt and that's something that I'm happy about it is the spin. Um, I felt like I could put a lot of spin, but I wouldn't say it was too much spin. You know, sometimes when you're playing with you know, spin-oriented string, you feel like it's too much, but this one was not too much. And I really felt, you know, the thing that they were saying, like you need a fast swing to really generate a lot with this thing. And that was true. You feel the control, you feel the spin, and you also feel the consistency in the string bed. So overall, it's just a solid string meant for competitive player that want to put spin to the ball and at the same time having that control. And I really love the coating of this string. Um, it made the string feel really, really solid, um, really comfortable, but at the same time, not that much. You know, it's a weird mix. All right, so I was really surprised by this string. Uh, I've tried this string on uh, green clay and I've also tried this string on hard court and I really enjoyed the overall feeling. And I was kind of surprised because um, I tried this Polito Rev, the, this Polito Rev uh, a while back, but it was at 44.5, my normal tension. And I tried it with uh, another racket strung with RPM rough. Um, and I really enjoyed more the RPM rough and I ended up not really playing with the Polito Rev. Um, but you know, trying this string at 50 pounds is a lot better for the spin. I love the, the launch angle. I don't feel, yes, it's firm, but like, I don't feel like I'm gonna have arm issue. Obviously I won't recommend it if you're playing with polyester, but you know, you're like, yeah, I, I have a lot of harm issues, so I don't want to get involved into that type of string. So for that, I won't recommend it. But like, if you don't have any arm issue and you like to put spin, it's pretty cool. And I'm sometimes guilty of not putting a lot of uh, swing speed into my shot. But because I knew that, you know, this uh, string was meant for medium to fast swing, I was going a bit through more uh, the ball and I really, really uh, enjoyed this string. So I would recommend this string to everybody who are seeking for control and who are seeking for having that uh, extra bite, that extra spin. And I would say that it's in between, for example, a Black Widow and a uh, Solinko Revolution. You know, it's not that stiff. And, you know, for this string, you know, I really like the coating. So, yeah, Yonex is, um, is really making, you know, this string, you know, plays pretty well. Have you ever tried this Yonex Polytour Rev? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, to comment and to subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.